Look, my friend, I have nothing against ravens, but I can't walk around with you all day. What will people say? Koto! Koto! Did I hear you right? What do we care what people say? was related to that writer who eloped with Aunt Frida. Oh, I hate the English with their writers who steal women. I hope this lieutenant was related to the writer. That would restore the honor of our family, at least in part. I wonder what Aunt Frida saw in him that made her abandon her children and husband. But although I hate to admit it, he's not a bad writer. Mademoiselle from Armentiers, Parlez-vous, Mademoiselle from Armentiers, parlez-vous. Blow your nose and dry your tears, we'll be back in a couple of years. Hinky dinky, parlez-vous. I love that song, Captain Metro Golden Meyer. Please talk to me some more about Hollywood. Mmm, with such personality and good looks, you'd be a sensation. That wretched American is taking my beloved away. My heart is broken. What shall I do? What else can I do but die? This legend is amazing. It's so topical. Yes, but unexpected this side of the channel. See that? It's Guinmer. Yes, I do remember. The French aviator. He looks pompous. Well, I admire him. Why are you smirking like that? He's a hero. I spoke to Rothschild. He'd rather you stop flying. Just for a while. I don't need a nanny. Well, that's what I told him. I promised I'd try. He's a stubborn young man. He's a young man. Too young. Much too young. When this war is over, which will be soon, Kane will be useful to his country, more so than a commemorative plaque. A superior burgundy, Côte de Nuit, 1911. For Bordeaux, come to the chateau. You must. Thank you, Rothschild. I'll save these two for a special occasion. 
Hopefully it won't be for a young man's funeral. Don't you worry. For Kane, I'll think of something. So, you're off? Yes, in the morning. I'm going south, near the Australian trenches. I bumped into an old friend. Oh? Pandora's engaged. She was in love with you. She wouldn't say so. But she spent way too much time on the dunes of Cape Cod watching the sea. Oh, yes? Who's she engaged to? Oh, the usual moron. Total bore. You should have written to her. Huh. Actually, I could never really understand what she saw in you. I guess it must have been the earring. Anyway, gotta go. Can't you open those bottles? No. I'm saving them for a special occasion. I'll give you a hundred special occasions. I said no. Drink your rot gut and leave my burgundy alone. Hey, you hear that? It's flying low. It was the Red Baron. Was it? Van Richthofen? Eighty planes he hit. He should be ashamed. Maybe that's why he's red. I wish we'd had a machine gun. A machine gun? I'll show you. Huh? <laughs> oh! Ow! We need you drunk, remember? I told you never to be sober. God, what a foul temper you have, Sandy. I'm surprised your men haven't kicked your butt yet. Wipe the smirk off, Corto. I was already sick of it in the Canberra jail. So today... Oh, I'm really scared. Tanked up, he'd have taken him down, no trouble. Clem is the best shot in the whole Aussie army when he's drunk, but when he's sober, he's absolutely useless. If only you'd open your blasted coat de nuit, the Red Baron would be history. Just forget about my wine. Tell me, aren't you hot in that fur coat? <laughs> you look like a grizzly bear in the outback. Are we jealous, young man? Hey, he's back! Over there! Run! Sausage eater! You beer guzzler! The Australians drink beer too, Sandy. <laughs> no need to fly off the handle. You're not getting my wine. You're getting stingy in your old age. You never used to be like that. Hello, Moritz. Has Reinhardt been tormenting you again? <laughs> it's been quite the opposite. He's just eaten my brand new trousers just at the backside. And otherwise? Any news? What news could there be, Manfred? Dozens of young men die every day, depriving their country of their intelligence, their beauty, and their strength. Actually, there is some news. Hmm? Headquarters is pleased with you. They even have a surprise for you. They've set up a telephone connection with your family. <clears throat> Mother? Hello. I... Oh, hi, Dad. Yes, I'm fine. Can I speak to Mom, please? Mother. Guess what? I've hit two more English planes. Two more plates for our collection. One was called Lawrence, maybe a relation of the writer who seduced Frida. I hope so. Hmm. Moritz is fine. Yes, me too. I'm doing fine. Sure, Mother. No, wait! We'll hang up on three, all right? One, two, three. Take care, Mother. My mother says hello, Reinhard. That's very kind of her. Look, the weather's clearing up.
me down in there. You thought you were gonna guzzle your wine on the sly? <laughs> you get the hell out of here. Don't yell at him. I'm the one who gave him your wine. Now better let him concentrate. Just so we can be sure it's loaded. There you go, William Tell. There he is! Where? I don't see anything. Straight ahead, you moron. Go on, shoot! I suggest you keep your tall tales for your twilight years. Ready? Fire at will! But it's... it's impossible. Clem has never missed before. You should tell him the plane's gone. I'll be damned. He's asleep, standing up like a horse. Wake up, you bastard. Oh. <laughs> That's the best war story I ever heard. Corto, will you shut up? Cool off. Go and take a piss in the wind, why don't you? It'll clear your head. Baron 
is dead. Red Baron's Cross. Five quid as a souvenir. Sorry, I stopped collecting stamps a while ago. Lying there, he doesn't look that mean. What do you say? What do you want me to say? He chose to do this job, and he was good at it. It was destined to end that way. Here comes the top brass. They're all going to want to take credit for the Baron's death. You know, Sandy, I detest professional heroism. Germans. They want to keep us away from the plane. The truck's been hit. Clem! Clem! It's all my fault. We were going to become partners. Set up a sheep farm together. Clem's really amazing with animals. Or rather, he was. Don't blame yourself, Sandy. That's what war's all about. It's disgusting. It's unfair. You can't help it. Come on. Off you go. the Kraut. I'm sure that Clem would have shot him down as well. Hmm. You really think it was Clem who hit him? You heard what the sergeant said. A single bullet. The Baron was killed thanks to Clem and thanks to your Cote de Nuit. If you say so. Anyway, my neck's all stiff from watching the clouds. Because when you think about this whole business, that's all I've done. <laughs> 